Let's go ahead and try to aim that up a little bit. Oh gosh, we're on fire for some reason. What's going on, guys? My name is The Wolf Praise, and welcome back to another episode of Insane Besieged Creations. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop. And to start off with, this creation's name is the Mecha Chicken. To start this thing off, there is the arrow keys to move, so let's go ahead and walk forward here. Whoop, there we go. Okay, it's a little bit derpy. He's just going to hop along here. That's fine. There you go, Mr. Chicken, making your way downtown, walk in fast, da, 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 you know the whole song and all that stuff. All right, there's also a way to drop the egg, which is in quotations here, so let's go and check this out. Okay, whoop, there's some kind of egg there. I think it's some kind of bomb, though, just knowing the game. Yeah, that is definitely some kind of bomb. I don't trust that thing. Let's just go and walk away from that. Oh gosh, okay, we kicked it along. That's not very good. Alright, I'm also seeing there's a K to detonate the egg, so yeah, that is definitely a bomb. Let's go ahead and walk away from that. It did kind of roll into that building there, but you know, don't worry about that, that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and just detonate it, there we go. Boom, okay, well, that, that was pretty cool. And I've also noticed that this thing doesn't necessarily need invincibility mode. It does say that it's required, but I haven't needed it, and you know we're doing pretty well. I think this is the way it's supposed to work anyway. I really like the way this thing walks. Oh my gosh, what just happened to the neck? Oh my god. Okay, yep, I guess that's why you need invincibility mode. Okay, he's kind of broken. Well, I was going to come back over here and use the egg again to try to actually blow something up. But I guess we could just blow ourselves up. You know, that's pretty good. There we go. Boom. Okay, and we kind of blew our leg off. You know, that was pretty cool. Not too bad. The only thing that's missing is a way to actually fly. I don't see that over in the controls. The only controls are arrow keys to move and then a way to drop the egg and to detonate it. But yeah, let's go ahead and ruin the night's day over here. You know, that's always a great time. Let's go ahead and drop the egg. Oh, oh crap. Wrong button. There we go. Get wrecked, dudes. Oh gosh. Okay, we kind of wrecked ourselves. Okay, I guess that's kind of one way to fly the chicken. Of course, we can't show a chicken without a why did the chicken cross the road joke. So why did the chicken cross the road? to blow his leg off i guess this thing's definitely very cool i like derpy things like this you know the derpy walking style he just kind of hops along he's happy he's having a great time and you know i really appreciate that but let's go ahead and move on to the next creation all right for our next creation we have batbot and this is supposed to be a transformer and then this is another one by the sensor studios of course i always check out his transformers because he just creates them really well and I, he's just really good at it so of course i'll leave the link to his channel down below as well as all the links to the creations from today's episode uh, but let's go ahead and start this thing off it is the walking form this is c uh, you have to press this after starting. Okay, whoop, I pressed that. His leg kind of went up a little bit. All right, arrow keys to walk, so let's go ahead and walk forward here. Oh, okay, we're kind of... Oh, okay, I thought that side was the front here. Uh, but yeah, I guess this is the front here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. He's a nice little walking dude. It's also 1 and 2 to open and close the flamethrower bay and Y to fire. So let's go ahead and open this up here. This is 1. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. This is 1 there. And Y to fire that off. Oh, I don't, I don't see it. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, you just have to hold that in there. And it's a nice little flamethrower. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and close that back up there. It's also right control for slide kick. Let's go ahead and try that out. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, that was that was way more epic than I was expecting. And uh, yeah, his arms and legs flew off there. Uh, don't worry about that. He's still fine. He's just chilling down here. Right, attempt number two to transform this guy. It is Q. There we go. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Yep, and he just turns into a nice little car there. We kind of landed on the bomb, but it didn't blow up yet, so that's pretty good. Let's tr try to go forward here. This is the arrow keys to drive as well as to walk, so... You know, just making it over the rock there, if we can. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of a squeeze. We're fine. There we go. We made it. In this form, there's a way to shoot, which is three. We can shoot that off. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, those are really powerful. Shoot that off a couple of times, because we do have infinite ammo. And, uh, you know, that looks pretty cool. Not too bad. There's also a way for right shift to boost. Let's go and do that there. Okay, nice little boost. You know, it makes it a lot faster. When it's just in the normal car mode, it's not that fast, admittedly. But the boost definitely makes up for it. There's also some different camera modes. Let's go and check those out real quick. This is F. And a uh, nice little first person mode. Oh gosh, I like that camera. Nice and, you know, wobbly all around. That's pretty nice. Uh, there is this one here. Whoa, gosh, where is this one? I can't even tell. This might be for the robot form. Uh, let's go ahead and do go to the next one. Okay, just the regular one. Okay, those are pretty cool. Let's go and transform back here. And we can go ahead and try that second camera and see if that is for the robot form. There we go. Okay, yeah, that is definitely for the robot form, I think. Oh gosh, yep. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and just walk forward a little bit. You know, we might as well. We're a robot. Okay, yeah, it, it feels pretty nice to be a robot. How, how you doing down there, peasants? Yeah, I, I'm bigger than you. What are you gonna do about it? And he says this is also a wall climber slash bipedal walker type thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to walk up this mountain over here. We'll just make our way over this stuff. You know, no big deal. This should be a little bit better this time. Let's go ahead and start walking forward here. And I wonder if the boost actually works in this form as well. Okay, yep, it does. Uh, I think it kind of makes you fly a little bit. Or what, what's going on here? Okay, I'm not really sure, but we're making it up the hill. Let's just go ahead and try it without the boost though. And see if it still makes it up. Yeah, he's actually making it. That's pretty good. I think there are some kind of grabbers on it that are helping him. 
Uh, as you guys see, he doesn't make too big of steps, but you know, he's definitely not falling down. And you know, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you do use the boost, it definitely climbs up a lot faster there. And you can kind of fly away with him. Here we go. We're just going to fly away and have a nice little romantic night, evening, you know, whatever. This thing's definitely very cool. I always love checking out the Sensor Studios Transformers because they always work very well, as you guys see here. And they look very cool as well. You can tell he puts a lot of time and detail into them. And I always appreciate that. And of course, if you guys want to check this creation out for yourself, the link will be down below in the description, as well as all the other creations from today's episode. But let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. For our next creation, we have the SKW01. And this stands for the single key walker uh, let's go ahead and try to find out how to walk this thing the description is definitely very short and to the point and i use a lot of curse words which turn into hearts on steam and that's always great uh, it looks like there is push forward key to move and that's it okay that sounds pretty good here we go all right yep it's definitely walking along pretty well i always like things like this as well you know any walkers or mechs they're definitely very cool and anything like this that has a single key walking feature that's definitely very nice and it takes a lot of skill to build that kind of thing i feel like there are a lot of different hidden controls for this thing so let's oh gosh there are a lot of controls here okay some f5 f6 uh some different stuff uh v z okay let's just go ahead and try some of these out this is v whoa gosh okay there's some water cannons there those are pretty cool Let's go ahead and try Z. Oh gosh, okay, those shoot off little shrapnel cannons. Those are always great as well. I guess let's go ahead and just start pressing random buttons here and see what happens. This is Y. Okay, whoa. Okay, those make those go up. Okay, that, that makes me interested. Let's go ahead and press I or U, uh, T. Oh, T does that. Okay, you can go ahead and raise your arms up to T. I don't know what significance that would have, but you can do it. I'm going to start pressing buttons that I know fire things. So let's go and press C. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, that kind of scared me for a second. It's just a little crossbow, you know, nothing to be afraid of. You know, it doesn't really do that much. Let's go and press X. Okay, there's a nice little flamethrower there. B, V. Oh god, okay, that was V. We already did that. The problem with some of these creations, they don't put the controls in the description. That just makes it a lot harder for me because I have to go into this to actually check them out. And uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's no good. It looks like it is one through four for the rockets or whatever those are on the back. Okay, how did we put those up? I also forgot how to do that. I think it was T or G or something like that. Here we go. Let's go and try this out again. Okay, nope, that makes that do that. Okay, that is Y to put those up. There we go, just like that. And it is one through four. Let's go and try one. There we go. Okay, yeah, those are some nice little rockets there. That didn't really go that far. I think we can make it go up. Yo, okay, yeah. H makes it go up. Let's go and just try to aim that up a little bit. Oh, gosh, we're on fire for some reason. I don't really know why, but let's go and shoot off the rest of the rockets while we can. You know, pretty cool. I guess it didn't really hit anything, but... You know, at the same time, it's it's nice. The main thing that attracted me about this creation was that it's a single key walker, and those are always great. Uh, but I didn't know it had all these extra different things as well. You know, that just makes it that much better. Uh, but yeah, there are probably a lot of other hidden controls that I just can't figure out because, you know, I'm not that smart, and there's a lot of things going on there, and that just makes my brain scramble, and you guys know how it is. Uh, but yeah, this thing's definitely very cool. You guys should check it out for yourself. But let's go ahead and move on to the last creation of today's episode. All right, for our last creation of today's episode, we have the Rube Goldberg machine. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a machine where you only have to press one button, and it does like an entire little thing on its own and it's just really cool it's kind of hard to explain you guys will just see here uh, but the first thing is to figure out where it starts i think it's the flaming ball maybe let's go ahead and attach to that and just figure out what we could do uh y is to run it so let's go and do that there okay whoop i pressed y okay something is happening down here just go and watch here i don't see anything happening all right well i don't see anything moving it says if you can't explode the bomb on the first try you can also press z to explode it easily uh, so i don't know what that is let's go and press z and whoop okay i see something happening over there there it is oh gosh okay something's happening now all right i hear something shooting oh gosh i don't even know what's going on where are we supposed to be looking uh, up here maybe where, where, where's the shooting thing okay it's down here shooting yeah there it is okay that is shooting that and it pushed it off and god i'm confused well, let's go ahead and try that again i'm not exactly sure what went wrong there i don't know uh you know what i don't even know what's going on so i'm just i'm just trying it uh, this is why to start it off though and okay we should try to watch for any movement see if there's anything going on i see uh not not very much going on there's something firing okay let's go ahead and watch what's happening down here okay there's a ball it's going over that way okay i see the ball let's just zoom in on the ball i think this is what we're supposed to do okay that press that which presses this okay now i think it's working it just took a little bit for it to actually start up all right, let's just go ahead and watch this. So it is a little bit slow because it's like, you know, so huge. I mean, just look how big this thing is. You know, it's insanely huge. So I'm running this at like 21%. So yeah, it's going to be pretty slow. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to watch it here. Whoa, there we go. Oh gosh, okay. Now we hit this thing. Is okay. Yep, we're going through. No big deal. Oh gosh, where'd we go? Okay, I kind of lost it. It's it's somewhere in there though. There it is. I guess he's just taking a ride up to the top. You know, that's fine, buddy. You, you do you. I'll do me. And we'll, we'll have a great time. Now it's falling off and up into this next section. I think it was lower before. No, it started off here. Wait, 
did it just do a little loop i don't really know okay yeah now it's going to over here that's better okay uh now we're just gonna watch it again Let's see what happens oh gosh there we go okay you're just gonna go fall down there okay yeah th it's working now yeah i don't know exactly what was wrong with it before i think it actually was working and i saw this thing moving i just didn't know that, that was what we we're supposed to watch okay that hit that and now it's falling down all right i don't think that was supposed to happen that definitely wasn't supposed to happen uh, let's go ahead and grab our god tools and see if we can do anything up here actually that's not going to work because the simulation's already started dang it man we have to watch that all over again we went ahead and reset it here with these machines it is very complicated and everything has to go you know perfectly right and you know with this game it's a physics game so it's not you know it's not designed to exactly go perfect every single time uh you know physics is very variable and that's just how it is uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this one more time here and see if we can actually you know get it to finish over there oh actually it was the spike on the wheel that cut the rope there and then the fire makes the cannon fire oh okay that that makes a lot more sense uh understanding these things is very confusing for me especially because you know again i'm not very smart that's just how it is uh, but okay we're gonna go ahead and go back up here and i will meet you guys when we're near where we were before i just know you guys want to see the resolution and i do too you know i want to see how this thing actually looks at the very end and uh yeah that's what that's what we're here for let's go and try to put this back up here like something like that i think was where it's supposed to go that's like where it fell off before come on just just do something for us i'll just set you right there is that, is that what you want right there uh maybe move this over to here like i i, I don't know uh can we like put it over in this section because i see some steam going off over here and there's some kind of bomb okay let's go ahead and just go right over here and uh, drop them in the steam right, there we go that should work a little bit better that time yeah okay that actually worked oh gosh there goes the bomb okay now what do we watch i'm not exactly sure okay there's some fire stuff over here i'm looking for any movement uh I, I i don't see anything oh wait i see the ball over here okay yeah there it is all right now it's this ball here okay i'm so glad that i actually figured out how to get that thing to work at least you know somewhat decently you know it's a little bit of a cheat but you know don't worry about that now there's a gravity block sucking it into here and that presses that in oh gosh there goes that firing okay now i think something is over here going down okay yeah there's another one of these bomb things please don't fall off the edge i will drag you right back up there don't think i won't i will turn this car right around mister I see something up here okay there's a flaming ball sorry for all my confusion but yeah it's just that's just kind of how it is you know you guys are probably confused too just as much as i am so yeah this is just a journey of curiosity and all that great stuff let's go and just zoom in on this ball see where this guy goes he's going to press the platform which knocks it open of course you know that's that's how everything works now i think we're supposed to be up here and that cuts the balloon that goes flying up and now it pops on that cuts the ropes now this thing's swinging holy crap i love things like this it's so wonderful okay uh now i think the oh gosh okay i think this flaming ball was supposed to go down so let's go and just help that out a little bit you know that's fine i can help you out buddy no big deal oh gosh you're gonna fall off okay oh yep there we go okay i just have to zoom out a little bit push him right back up onto the tracks there you go buddy no problem i helped you once we make it down the track we come down to here which is some kind of steam cannons that's gonna blow us away whoa gosh okay whoop okay there's a nice little firework thing i think that was it yeah i think that was supposed to be the last of it we actually got it to work somewhat even though we had to cheat and stuff but you know don't worry about that things like this are just really cool and i always have to check them out and uh, you know they're very complicated for me to understand so i do apologize for you know my stupidity and all that great stuff you guys know how it is uh but yeah i had to check it out of course because anything this complicated and that much time put into it you, it has to be appreciated but yeah i think that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty dang cool around here if you guys ask me and make sure to leave a comment down below of what your favorite creation was from today's episode so i know what to show more of in the future and all that great stuff you guys know how it is uh but yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching and liking and i will see you guys in the next one take care and stay awesome guys